is like world number one. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> um, so my dad is a golf coach and at the time when he had done his PGA, he wanted to go to Germany to teach um, because it was just a lot more people were more interested in having lessons than in England. Um, there was a lot more work, so um, that's why he then moved to Germany with my mum and then I was born there. We had the pro shop as well at the golf club, so after school my mum was work well she was working in the pro shop, so after school uh, we would just go straight to the course. I would do our homework there and everything and then just play golf really, so. I got hooked on it when I was like three. I would say I was always kind of competing, like probably from the age of like 10 it was more serious. Well, that's pretty accurate. What a shot from Count. I was always trying to play in every single event that I could get in, like tournaments. I didn't really like practicing, I just loved playing tournaments, so I'd just play everything that I could go in. Yeah, I needed like someone to play against and or something to beat, so um, yeah, I needed to play tournaments. I always had like little side bets with my dad, um, so yeah, that would make me want to do better as well. <laughs> so I was kind of doing both, I was doing the amateur events like the British Women's Open, like the amateur sides, all the big international events. And I won two of the big ones. I won the Spanish and the Portuguese. And then I did win two of the Letas tournaments as an amateur and then one as a professional. And then I won the Order of Merit and that's how I got my card. So it was, it was insane. It was the best year ever. <laughs> you obviously hope that it will happen, but you don't know once you get there how it will be. So yeah, I'm quite glad that I'm playing quite good on tour, so <laughs> happy. I'm still waiting for the win on the LET though. <laughs> it does get frustrating, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously it just, it just makes you want to want it even more. Um, and I do need to sometimes like chill a bit and just play golf and just not think of that. Um, and you know, if I play well, then it will happen. Um, have to be patient really you don't know when it's coming you don't know what other players are going to do um, I know I'm good enough to win on tour so I just need that extra little bit of luck maybe <laughs> oh she's holding a couple of nice putts today I've obviously come second quite a few times and I think that was due to mentality um, I don't know what happens that day um, but yeah that's what I'm trying to still figure out really. <laughs> I mean that whole week was just so special because um, I had my boyfriend there watching every day and his family came out to watch as well um, and yeah some of his friends. So it was just like we just had a lot of support like our team so um, yeah and obviously then being a team with Serena we, we obviously were obviously good friends and we just, we said from the get-go, we just like, it doesn't matter how we play, like we're just gonna go there and we're just gonna have a great week. Um, and that's what we did and then we finished winning. <laughs> Finish it off, team victory. Uh, we were just concentrating on the team event. Like that was the only thing for us, like the team event, that's what we wanna win. So, yeah, so that's how we were just working as a team, just trying to win that. And I wasn't really concentrating on my own score. Um, I'd say the last, the final day, I, I played pretty well. The putts weren't dropping like the whole first nine holes. And then they kind of started to drop from like 11 onwards. Um, so yeah, that I think that's just what we needed really. And then we just pushed on from there. Yeah. That's inside 10 feet, Olivia Cowan. Amazing, absolutely amazing. And what a way to go back to the top of the leaderboard. We knew it wasn't over until like the 18th, until the last putt dropped, but yeah, it was, it was just really cool. So we had a few people following as well, so they were really wanting us to do well, so that was cool. It's gone so fast, like, it feels like I've done it years ago, but it was only a few months ago. So you kind of, you just want to have that feeling again. Yeah, basically, I just want to try and get back to my younger self of not knowing what I'm doing, just hitting a golf ball and having fun. <laughs> Mentally, it's just, it's just massive. It's like, I would say it's 90% of the game. Like, yeah, you need to obviously hit good shots, but your head is just, it just makes you do different things. 
Yeah, golf is mad. Like, you could play the best round of your life one day and then the worst the next. So, you just don't know what's going to happen.